वर्ल्ड स्टूडेंट्स डे 2022 सेलिब्रेट्स ऑन 15th अक्टूबर इंटरनेशनल ई वेस्ट डे 2022 ऑब्जर्वड ऑन 14th ऑफ अक्टूबर राजनाथ सिंह लॉन्चेस वेबसाइट फॉर पीपल टू कंट्रीब्यूट टू आर्म फोर्सेस विद द नेम मां भारती के सपूत नेशंस फर्स्ट स्लैंडर लॉरेस सेंचुरी सेटअप इन करूर एंड डिंडीगुल डिस्ट्रिक्ट्स ऑफ तमिलनाडु पीएम मोदी टू डेडिकेट 75 डिजिटल बैंकिंग यूनिट्स टू द नेशन ऑन अक्टूबर 16th लॉ मिनिस्ट्री टू ऑर्गेनाइज ऑल इंडिया कॉन्फ्रेंस ऑफ लॉ मिनिस्टर्स इन अक्टूबर 17th प्रवासी भारतीय दिवस टू बी हेल्ड एट इंदौर इन जनवरी 2023 Multi State Cooperative Societies Amendment Bill approved Himachal Pradesh government starts new scheme Himcad to help farmers second indian to win 10 meter air rifle gold at ISSF World Students Day 2022 observed on 15th of October World Students Day is aimed at as to commemorate the birth anniversary of Dr APJ Abdul Kalam a celebrated aerospace scientist and former president of India the day is marked to acknowledge his efforts towards students and education Dr Kalam was born on October 15th 1931 He served as an inspiration to many students to achieve and do something remarkable. After his tenure as the president came to an end, he became a visiting faculty at the IIM Shillong, IIM Indore and IIM Ahmedabad. International E-Waste Day 2022 observed on 14th of October. 5th edition of International E-Waste Day is held on 14th of October an opportunity to reflect on the impacts of e-waste and the necessary actions to enhance the circularity of e-products International E-Waste Day was developed in 2018 by Waste Electrical and Electronic Equipment Recycling that is W Triple E Rajnath Singh launches website for people to contribute to armed forces with the name Ma Bharati ke Saput Defence Minister Rajnath Singh launched the website for the armed forces battle casualties welfare fund afb cwf with the name ma bharati ke saput during a function at the national war memorial complex on october 14th 2022 in new delhi famous actor amitabh bachchan is believed to be the goodwill ambassador it is a tri service fund utilized for the grant of immediate financial support of ex gracia to the next of kin and dependents of battle casualties nation's first slander loris sanctuary to be set up in karur and dindigul districts of tamil nadu tamil nadu government will set up the country's first kandavur slander loris sanctuary covering 11806 hectares in karur and dindigul districts of tamil nadu The species listed as endangered as per the International Union for the Conservation of Nature that is IUCN acts as a biological predator to pests of agricultural crops and to benefit farmers they will be protected under schedule 1 of wildlife protection act 1972 PM Narendra Modi will dedicate 75 digital banking units to the nation on 16th of October 2022. As part of union budget speech for 2022 and 2023, the finance minister had announced the setting up of 75 digital banking units in 75 districts of the country to commemorate the 75 years of independence of the country. These digital banking units are being set up to ensure benefits of digital banking reach all corners of the country. The Union Ministry of Law and Justice will organize an All India Conference of Law Ministers and Law Secretaries from 14th to 17th October 2022 at Ekta Nagar in Gujarat. It will provide a platform for discussion and help policy makers upgrade the overall legal system. 17th Pravasi Bharatiya Divas 
कन्वेंशन विल बी हेल्ड इन इंदौर मध्य प्रदेश इन जनवरी 2023 प्रवासी भारतीय दिवस इज सेलिब्रेटेड एवरी ईयर ऑन नाइन्थ ऑफ जनवरी टू मार्क द कंट्रीब्यूशन ऑफ द ओवरसीज इंडियन कम्युनिटी इन द डेवलपमेंट ऑफ इंडिया द सिक्सटीन प्रवासी भारतीय दिवस वॉज हेल्ड इन जनवरी टू एट वाराणसी उत्तर प्रदेश The first edition of Pravasi Bharati Divas was held in 2003 in New Delhi. Multi-state cooperative societies amendment bill 2022 approved. The Union Cabinet has approved the Multi-State Cooperative Societies Amendment Bill 2022. It seeks to amend the Multi-State Cooperative Societies Act 2002. Election authority will be set up to ensure free, fair, and timely elections. India has more than 1,500 multi-state cooperative societies serving as an important tool to promote economic and social betterment of their members. Himachal Pradesh government starts new scheme HimCard to help farmers. The state government of Himachal Pradesh has started a new scheme named HimCard to provide irrigation facilities to the farmers. According to the latest data, about 80% of the agricultural area of Himachal Pradesh is rain-fed. The scheme will provide end-to-end -end connectivity to the farmers, fields for better water conservation, crop diversification and integrated farming. Second Indian to win 10 meter air rifle gold at ISSF Rudrangsh Patel on 14th October 2022 won gold in men's 10 meter air rifle event in the ISSF that is International Shooting Sports Federation World Championship He became only the second Indian to achieve the feat after Abhinav Bindra who is himself a Olympic gold medalist Patel also secured a 2024 Paris Olympics quota for the country in this process. This was India's second Olympic quota this year. Thank you.